Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a very new segment called Chai Time and this is episode one where I just sit down, drink tea and talk about um, the questions that you guys submitted and I just answer them. Most of the questions are probably... Um, I know there are so... I got so many questions. I feel like I got 20 to 25 questions and I don't think so I can go through all of them in this video but most of them are um, brown culture related. Um, education, fashion, and also just regular society stuff, which I'm so happy to answer and talk about, like a cute little debate or whatnot. So I have my teacup right here, and I have <laughs> my chai in my teapot as well. Um, I also have my sage going on. I actually put in housewarming. One of my favorite blends that they just discontinued and you best believe I got five of those in my collection up there. So we're gonna literally pour some tea. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Also, before we get into the video, let me just tell you guys something. So I was supposed to no, shoot no, this no. video <laughs> at 11 a.m. and it is literally 11 p.m. right now. And um, I failed um, badly. Like, I'm not even joking. And um, yeah, and I also got like cute little macarons right here. I know there is blood orange, there is raspberry, there's blueberry. Um, Vanilla, pistachio, white chocolate, and lemon. Oh my god, I love macarons. So, yeah, let's just give a little sip to our chai. I don't know what kind of chai do you guys drink. I like to just do with like some spices and just like boil it. And I like color on my uh, chai. I'm not one of those who drinks like plain white with just tea bags. No, no, no. Oh my god, it's so good. And also, you best believe I'm going to be buzzing, bouncing off the walls in the bathroom because of lactose. I feel like TMI, but that is, that is a tea right there. Like, that's what's going to be going with me. So let me just get into my notes and let's get into it. questions about me um, too which I'm so excited to answer because I feel like uh, a lot of people want to know about me and I'm just like yeah that's fine I don't know how much you guys want to know about me I mean let's see the very first question is body shaming honestly speaking body shaming is one of the worst things I have ever experienced or um, have seen other people go through because it just uh, uh, first of all, you don't know how the other person is. It could be medical. It could be health reasons. Like, you don't know. So you, it's just like, in order, you just don't eat, you should, you should not comment at all. That's what I'm trying to say. Because um, a person is already going through so much and you are just adding to it and saying that all about like, um, oh, that person is so big or unhealthy. That's why like how we tell people <laughs> not we but in general like i've heard people talk about um about a person who's big um oh he's so or he she's so healthy and um which is honestly so triggering to me it's like um you are literally kicking a person down by saying oh my god like the person's so fat and it just, it's like it adds to the person who's being called these names to their mental health, to their physical health. Like they don't want to do anything because they get into this dark place that nothing can happen to them. And it's just like it's so hard for the person to go through like depression, anxiety, social anxiety comes into it. So like these are the things that I don't think people realize and it's 21st century. Like there should be no uh, body shaming at all. Everyone is beautiful in their own skin and uh, however they look like. And honestly, I am so happy now. I see so many people accepting their bodies on social media, which I feel like social media played a really big part in body shaming like a couple of years ago everyone was so skinny and thin um like even like like one ways and stuff it was all people who were literally skinny and doing it and, like that caused so many um mental um health problems in young kids who were watching it like for example me too like i 
like I feel like there was a point in my life when I was thinking like oh my god size small or medium is literally the way to go and I was just like I was just like, oh, uh, but now realizing, like, no, it's honestly not, like, live however you want. Like, honestly, people are born to talk. I feel like they have nothing to do with their lives, so they add so much negativity into society just to make themselves happy because they are going through um, shit themselves. So, yeah, honestly, body shaming is canceled. It's so not 2020. So, honestly, people who still body shame you would need to get. Oh my god, body shaming honestly just triggers me. Um, there is another question, which is um, color stri stigma and brown culture. I have seen in my entire life. Um, growing up, there used to be this TV ad. I'm not going to name the advertisement, but you guys know, like, people who were watching, um, like, you know, like, um, television, like, there used to be this brand, FNL, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um... That used to promote, honestly speaking, it, that was one of the worst things I've ever seen. Like, the dark person is using this cream and turning into this fair person, and how fair is always healthy, good-looking, like, the color stigma, which is like, oh, fair is up here, and, like, dark people are down here, um, in that tel um, TV ad, and um, I feel like that played such a big part on young kids, because I, rem I, rem I have seen people use these creams in my life just to whiten their skin a little bit more, and, like, from brown to, like, a little bit more fair, and I feel like that's just so disgusting, and also, I've seen so many TV dramas based on this, too, it's like, oh, if the girl was, like, uh, fair, oh my gosh, she's so pretty, and if they, there's a girl who's, like, a little dark, she's not, and I feel like that's just so disgusting to me, like, I'm not even joking, it honestly is triggering, because you, these things add up to kids' minds so much that it affects it, like, it just gets, like, photocopied in the brain, and it's just like, oh, fear is lovely, you know what I mean? So, yeah, no, and it just brings so many bad society stuff, too, and the communities and stuff, like, people, oh, my God, it's so bad. It's so discriminatory, discrim it's, like, color discrimination, and it's just, like, people need to grow up. They need to learn, educate themselves. Like, I feel like people who are always talking about color stigma um, or, like, just in general, are so uneducated, are illiterate, like, they need to literally go read stuff, like, everyone is beautiful, everyone deserves, they are, <laughs> if we have people in this world, that means they are deserving, like, they should be given every single right, you should not call them out, and, like, make them feel that they're worthless, that's disgusting, so, yeah, no, I can literally go on and on about this, and it just, like, honestly makes me so mad that I'm just gonna literally skim through, um, so the next question is about how do I study, okay, so I do a lot of banks. so personally for me, okay, there's a thing, I don't like to talk about my education because I feel like what I'm doing is good for me and what you might be like it might not be good for you because it's such um, um, a topic like a hot topic um, so I do a lot of QBanks I also do a lot of videos uh, because I've seen like videos help me for example I do sketchy boards and beyonds I do um, review videos like short review videos and I also do a lot of um, QBanks um, and also I do you world um and yeah that's all i've literally been doing i do first aid and stuff and everything's been kind of normal and on the kind of normal on the right track but trust me i'm probably not the right person to talk about this because um yeah i'm probably not so please look into detail it yourself and like you know don't uh, don't like just get into um what I'm saying um, is right. So the next is how fashion, how it changes. So honestly speaking, uh, fashion changes by the minute. I've seen like every season there is a new fashion trend. But then at the, at the same time, if you see fashion, I'm very big on fashion. I love old retro fashion. I love the new trend that's going on like oversized stuff like I literally live and breathe in oversized shirts and I feel like one of the people that I actually brought it back into it was Billie Eilish I feel like 
she started wearing baggy clothing and a lot of people hate on her a lot of people don't like the baggy trend but i honestly am all for it and um it is so good so yeah um fashion does change with like it changes every second um but at the at the same time a lot of old things are coming back like neons are coming back patterns are coming back um so yeah i well i think it changes but then it more like fashion industry is more like taking notes from old fashion and adding new touch to it so for example like if you have clothes that were like 15 years ago trust me you can wear them right now and you can rock it like bucket hats are back you know what i mean so fashion does change but i feel like it just more like turns into a new thing but it always has roots somewhere um in the bag and also how so the question that where fashion defines uh like we define fashion but not uh but it doesn't define us um it is something that i have actually been struggling a lot lately um a lot of people think that i dress a certain way um i probably am a certain way which honestly is so wrong it again comes at like how people perceive stuff um uh, for example if i'm wearing shorts that's fine like it's my thing like i am feeling hot i'm gonna wear shorts if i'm wearing baggy shirt it's my thing like you cannot come and attack me for it you know what i mean for example people who are wearing tight fit clothing it's their thing like that's how probably they feel comfortable it is something like I was reading an article about how people get fa uh, fashion shamed all the time online if they're wearing um, shorts that are too short. Oh my god, they are labeled something. And then if they're wearing, um, like for example, like I was wearing shorts with um, that had Aloha and like um, you know, like um, it was tropical themed um, shorts. So many people hated it, and I was just like, I don't get like why it's coming. Like uh, if I am dressing up nicely, if I am keeping up with the trends, if I am dressing according to season, then I get labeled about something, and it's just like honestly speaking. Um, at the end of the day, it comes to people who have, again, have nothing to do with their lives and they just add so much shit into online and then just like vomit, neg negativity all online. And also, like, I feel like, again, it comes to... I've seen the cultural side of it too because, trust me, I've been a part of so many gatherings in my life and people sometimes don't get my style, which is fine. Like, I'm not here to please everyone's thoughts about me. Like, I know people talk shit about me all the time, which is, again, fine. But it's just like, if you have nothing nice to say, zip it up and don't say it all. Like, that's, I've been, that's what I've been telling other people a lot because I feel like I've been attacked a few times. But then you are just like, oh, Oh, there are all three people then I just don't answer I'm just like oh I didn't hear you I'm so sorry like you know what I mean and I know it sounds a little mean but it is how it is like I actually feel that way like um for you know what I mean so at the end of the day wear whatever you want don't ever think what people are gonna say about you because they are gonna say no matter what if your shorts a little too long they're gonna complain if it's a little too short they're gonna complain if you have patterns on your shorts they're gonna complain if it doesn't they're gonna complain if it's too tight they're gonna complain if it's too loose they're gonna complain so just like you know what i mean you live once so might as well live the fullest way follow all the fashion trends and stuff you want like trust me don't think about it life would be so much easier so the next question is um one of my pet peeves when i go out honestly speaking one of the things that i hate about lately people staring i have never been so comfortable with people staring so much it hate like i hate when people stare and it's just like why are you staring me for no reason like if the stare is too long more than five seconds you have a problem like i literally call sometimes people if i'm like so triggered it's saying like, i don't like like what is your obsession with me you can literally take a picture and watch <laughs> later like honestly speaking it's just staring at random people staring you it's literally so triggering and it bothers me so much so yeah one, that was one of the questions like what is my pet peeve in public that probably is it and then um the next question 
um, were you compared to other kids growing up? I was 110%. I feel like a kids, um, you do get compared once in a while in your life, but I have great, um, I'm not going to say what grades, and I'll also I'm not going to say the name, but my parents, if you're watching, you know, I feel like we were compared to other pe kids in our class, like, oh, they're doing so good. And I'm just like, everyone is different, man. Like, if I'm good in something, um, they probably are not good at it, and um, I honestly never cared. But at the time, it bothered me so much, and honestly, look at me now. I am in med school, living my life doing whatever I wanted to. So don't compare your kids. It is very bad for their mental health and also don't push them for grades. Whatever they're doing, they're doing great. Just encourage them. And I feel like that was one of the things as well. Um, I was really, <laughs> I was pushed to get good grades. And I feel like last, in grade 11, I did it so bad that I wanted to cry. It was like one of the worst grades I've ever gotten. I'm not going to say what it was, but yeah um i don't know this person commented so this is going to be my last question because i don't want this video to be more than 15 20 minutes um so this is another question that that is a prime example of how sometimes the uh, people around you i mean i don't know this person but i'm just saying like how people around you can perceive you so i don't know if it was a diss at me but it was you are too modern and um this is something that has been bothering me a lot lately now that like i have a few people who watch me and stuff and also like people who i know for ages sometimes like slip in a comment saying oh my god you're so modern um you don't know what my life is um you cannot like you know what i mean it's it's like i'm going out i am i have friends uh you know what i mean and then i'm going to the beaches and stuff like uh, it's like let me be honest, everyone is doing that. Um, people I know have done that or are still doing it, I don't know. But uh, even before uh, being um, on YouTube and, and on Instagram, like I would get messages like this, oh my God, like you are hanging out with other people, like you know what I mean? Like, um, oh, like you're, um, I don't know how to say this, but it is kind of like very disgusting when people, like also when, aunties get involved and they tell you that you're going out and stuff and i'm just like um it's none of your business but sure um but also at the same time auntie your son is literally going out too but you don't know because he doesn't post on social media if i'm really good with my parents and they have trust and stuff and i'm not doing anything wrong i'm not smuggling drugs or anything um i am not get, like you know what i mean like um I'm not crossing a certain line, I'm fine, but trust me, your kids are doing that too, and everyone is doing that, and probably the person who messaged me this is doing that too, you know what I mean? It's just like they're doing behind closed doors, and I am doing in public, and it's on stories, so it's like you don't have to come at me when you can actually see what your, your kids are doing, and uh, I hate to say it, but honestly, no one is <laughs> being too, too honest. Like, um, everyone is doing something behind closed doors. Like, they're hanging out and stuff. The only thing I'm doing different is I'm putting on social media. Like, I love my friends so much. Like, honestly speaking, I don't know if you can see, but there is a mat that has mats on it. And I literally took it from John uh and like stuff like when me uh, like John and like Mandy like we were in the last semester like um as a memory and also right across me right there there's a photo frame that has um uh, my two like yellow house friends like, like best friends like Dave's and like Meha like literally right there and I also have like BBH cards and stuff right there and also like another photo right there so like you know like Karen Rakul, Boston and Summer like everyone's like right there you know what I mean I love my friends literally like family and I like it just bothers me like when some people are trying to like be like oh my god like you are hanging out like you know what i mean it's my life i'm doing my own thing um if you want to call it too modern and not respectful that is fine that is your thought about me but i am staying in a certain um i have a certain line that i'm not crossing i know how things are so like you don't have to come attack me when you are not 100 percent either you know what i mean so 
yeah, um, that was my very first segment. I hope you guys like it. I don't know if everything makes sense. Um, also, I am also learning, so don't come at me if I've spent something wrong. If I have, please comment down below. I would love to learn. But yeah, you know what I mean? It's some, like, I feel like every single kid growing up has gone through these things, and I'm just trying to be relatable. But also, if you have any more questions, you know what have, you have to do. I will ask more polls and also comment down below. What do you want me to talk about in next um next um segment which is gonna be next sunday and people who've been going through hard times trust me everything will be fine um there's always light um at the end of the tunnel i feel like that's how it is and yeah hopefully everything turns out good hope you are staying safe and i will catch you guys soon bye